Hello guys, uh, welcome in this new video for uh, Salome, Mika, and I'll show you how to make something concrete in this video. And by concrete, I mean, of course, a concrete block. <laughs> so joke apart, I'll show you how to uh, create this kind of block with a lot of small aggregates ins inside it that you can use afterwards for uh, any purpose. So uh, it looks complicated, but actually it's pretty easy to do. Uh, but you'll have to use the Python to, to do this. So let's start. So first let's open a new project. And I'll start by opening the Geom module. And the first thing to do is really to, to create a shape of all the different components of my block. So uh, the first one will be to create one block of dimension 200, 200, 200. So if I do not put any dimension, it can be a matter, for example. Okay, I have my block. Next step will be to, um, so I want to create this small aggregates inside. So if I just create a, uh, a sphere like this, uh, it will not um, have any position defined. So the best way is first to create a vertex or a point. Right, you can call it a point, but it's called vertex. Give it, well, any coordinate you want, really. We'll change that later. Apply. So I have my box, I have a vertex somewhere inside. And now I click on create a sphere. And you have two construction methods for the sphere. You have this one, we just take the radius. And you have this, this one, which takes um, the vertex as a center and the uh, radius. So I'll choose the first one. Apply and close. And now I have to make a partition to, to remove this part of the sphere. I just want the circle which are inside the box. So I'll go to operations, partition, select the box as a tool object, just select the sphere, apply and close. And here I have it. So now it's not really what I showed you at the beginning. Uh, but we'll just use a script to actually uh, create this concrete block. So to, to have the script of what I just did, it's, it's very easy. Just go into file and um, dump the study. So I'll call that concrete two dot Python. So open the folder in which the script has been saved and open it with any text editor. And now we'll just have to modify the code, which is uh, within this script. So let's start by uh, kind of cleaning up just a bit the code by separating the functions uh, and what it does. And if you remember what I just did previously, the, the code just goes in the same order. It basically imports all the Python modules required. It creates a geompy object, which is, uh, which is necessary. It creates the, the axis. Then it creates the box, the vertex, the sphere, and finally the partition. So you have all the comments lined up. And those last comments are here to show actually on the screen the model that have been uh, created. So uh, the way is basically this box here, it won't change. So the same. Um, but this vertex and sphere, I'll basically use uh, Python loop to basically create a lot of them. So let's do this. So to um, what I'll do is for i, so I just call a variable i, for i in range, and let's say I want 200, 200 spheres. Uh, I want to execute those two instructions. Um, so the thing we have to do is this, um, I, I don't want the, the spheres to be all at the same position, right? I want them to be at various position of, of my uh, model. So how do I achieve that? Well, I'll use, I'll basically define some coordinates, X, Y, and Z, and I'll use a function of Python called random. Uh, and there's random.uniform, 
between 0 and 200. And this instruction will basically give me um, a value of x, which will be randomly taken uh, into z between 0 and 200. And of course, to use this random, you have to import it here. Random. So this is a basic Python module, so it's, it's available. Um, and I'll do that for y and z as well. y, z. And I just have to replace this into my vertex. x, y, and z. Right, so now I'm creating uh, 200 vertex at random positions, and I'm using those vertex to generate spheres, which are all at a certain um, diameter. So I'll, I'll change that. It's the ray, it's not the diameter, right? So R, and use the same function, random, uniform, right, between this time 0 and 6. And I'll change the ray here. OK. Uh, and now what I have to do is to pass all those spheres into an array to this partition. So you see that there is the, the brackets here, which means that the object here is an array. So I could, uh, I could like that, write sphere 1, sphere 2, sphere, uh, etc. Uh, but you know, here, it's not possible. I have 200 of, of them. So Instead of putting it like this, I'll define a new array that I will call spheres with an S. And I'll define it here. And this will be, there will be nothing in it at the beginning. But as, uh, as soon as I generate a new sphere, I'll just add it to this array. And to add a sphere to the array, I'll use the append function. So Every time I go through a loop, I will append, uh, I will append uh, the sphere generated to the spheres array. And at the end, I will uh, do the partition between the box and all the spheres in the domain. Now, uh, let's go and just one thing more. I don't need to show up anymore the vertex one and the sphere one here. So I'll just delete that. I just need to show the final partition. So once this is done, just click on Save. Close that. And we are ready to try and see if it works. So let's start a new uh, new file, open a new geometry module, and go into file and click on load the script. Click on my uh, Python script. And let's go and see if it works. And it seems to be working. So now I'm not seeing uh, what's inside because this is uh, not transparent. So I have to click on this model, right click, and there is a transparency option that you can activate. And that's it. Now you see that I'm able to generate with Python this uh, concrete block with the different kind of aggregates. So you can, of course, play with that as you want. Um, you know, generate more spheres, less spheres, certain type of distribution, um, anything you want, really. And this kind of process, you can repeat it for any kind of shape, which is kind of repetitive like this. So it's a very good exercise uh, for you. And that's all for this video. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and it was useful. And if it was, please um, leave a comment, give a like the video. Uh, and thank you very much.